in this nitty gritty prime time let's play live stream we're going to be playing american mahjong at mahjong time if you have not tried playing at mahjong time yet look for my email in the video description below i can send you information about their 30-day vip trial if you send me an email you can also find information on my website if you click about and then mahjong time the topic for today's session is strategy by wall this is a collection of strategies that was initially inspired by tom sloper of sloperama i just want to shout out sloperama because i've learned a lot from his website you got to dig deep to find what you're looking for but there's some great stuff there so big shout out to tom sloper of sloperama I, of course, have taken that information and I've been inspired to create some ideas on my own regarding strategy by wall. There's much that can be learned based on the wall in play because things happen. The focus is different with each of those walls. Whatever's happening in your hand, the hand development, it's different as the, the game progresses. And you can kind of track that using the wall in play. So I'm going to share my screen and we'll do a quick presentation and then we'll do some gameplay with commentary demonstrating these concepts. I want to give a quick shout out to our new members, though, first, Patricia and Mandy. Thank you so much for joining us, channel members. I really appreciate your support. All channel members, thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. It is very encouraging for me and the monies go to support my channel in so many ways and so i just want to say thank you also moderators thank you so much for helping monitor chat today i'll go ahead and share my screen and we'll get started all right strategy by wall are you ready buckle up because this is advanced there are several strategies in here that take a lot of situational awareness I'm going to just check and make sure everybody's with me. Can you hear me okay? Let me know in chat if you can hear me and then we'll get going. Okay, here we go. Strategy by wall. There's the shout out to Tom Sloper. Thank you, Tom. I've never met Tom in person. I think it'd be fun to meet him one day if I ever make it up to New York, if that's where he is anyway. All right. So the idea is based on the wall in play. If you think about building the walls, every player has a two layers of tiles that create the wall. We first deal through the tiles. So while I share about this, these concepts, we're going to do a full wall. So we're just going to say that East didn't roll the dice in this case, although that is part of the game. Uh, but we'll just start with a full wall. These tiles get dealt out, and that's part of the begin game. And then the second wall is partially used through dealing the tiles as well. So typically, you're going to end up with the table looking somewhat like this. Sometimes the wall in front of East is a little bit shorter. Um, let's see, if you have East rolling the dice, you may have a partial wall in front of East, but you just kind of estimate a full wall. So here's an example of what the begin game might look like. And in the begin game, this is where you get the dealt tiles and then your dealt hand and you do the Charleston. The pick and discard phase of the game, which ends up depleting the rest of the walls through picking and discarding one tile at a time, different strategies apply. So for the begin game, which is the first and second wall, these are the strategies that you want to think about. And incidentally, we're going to go back and forth to Mahjong time in a, a school, Mahjong school, and we'll work with robots so that I can pause the game come back to the presentation based on the wall in play. So for the begin game, which is during the Charleston, 
you want to definitely focus on your own hand first. That is the first priority, building your own hand. So you're going to look at your dealt hand and you're going to identify the strength of the hand and then play a category that utilizes the strength of the hand with as many tiles as possible. And whatever tiles are left, you're going to pass. When you pass tiles, you want to think about mitigate, mitigating the risk. You want to pass as benignly as possible to your opponents because you do not want to help them build their own hand. So if you think about this list, this mitigation list of the lowest to greatest risk, the lowest risk would be passing a different tile from each suit. Maybe a little number, a middle number, and a big number. So you might hit their hand with one tile. Another low risk pass would be a wind or dragon with two different numbers in different suits. Maybe a little number in one suit, a middle number or big number in a second suit, and then a wind or a dragon. That's also a really low risk pass. The next in the list from lowest to highest is the same category. For example, all odds or all 369, all wins and dragons. Those would be much more risky than the first two bullets. The next would be white dragons and flowers. Rarely pass those because they're all over the card. 40% of the hands use flowers. Uh, white dragons are used in the year blocks as well as they're used as dragons. And I believe it's 40% of the hands on the card use flower or dragons. I'll have to look. Maybe it's not 40. I forget. Hold on one second because I just did a different uh, presentation on that. Hold on. Let me just look because I just did this presentation for dragons. 20 29%. 20 of the hands on the card use dragons. 29%. So that's fairly significant, enough to make sure that you're, um, what happened here? Hold on. Okay, strategy by wall, there we go. All right, so dragons and flowers, pass rarely. The next one is like numbers and pairs. These are very risky to pass. There are like numbers all over the card. 40%, 44%, I think, is like numbers. Let me double check. I think it's 44% use flowers. Let's see. Flowers are in 44% of the hands. Like numbers is 40%. So be very mindful of passing like numbers. It's almost as risky as passing a pair, in my opinion. You want to keep the tiles that can be used in your category regardless of suit. And that's because more hands on the card are in mixed suits than one suit. So if you just gather all the tiles that can be used in your category regardless of suit, you're going to have more options. And then when you run out of discards, decide whether or not you're going to play one suit or mixed suits. And then also, every time you get a pass, reassess especially if a new multiple forms. A multiple would be Pong Kong Quint, something like that. Okay, while you're playing, uh, let's see, this would be, we're going to get back to this right here. We're gonna jump over to Mahjong time now because I want to get through the Charleston so let me share my screen with Mahjong time now. And we're going to go to Mahjong school. And then we're going to join a, a random wall. Okay. So here we go. We're going to play with robots. We're going to get through the Charleston. And we're going to practice all those um, strategies by mitigating risks. That's the... That is the strategy while you're developing your own hand is to mitigate risk. So it's kind of a, a two-fold strategy. 
I'll go full screen so we can focus on the tiles. Okay, so we have a joker flower, four, six in bams, three, four, six in cracks, two, five, six, nine in dots with a pair of sixes, a white dragon, and a north. So I think whatever we do, we're going to use the six dot pair. I see we could do like numbers with sixes. There's even a dragon we could potentially use. We could also maybe play a three, six, nine. We have a three and a nine here, but we also have four, five. We could potentially play consecutive run four, five of some kind. And there's much more to work with than three, six, nine. So I think we could go ahead and let the three, six, nine go. And this is a little bit risky. We could do better by putting a two in there. A two, nine and one suit is not useful. So I think that's a little better than three, nine. That's an example of mitigating the risk. Thanks for coming to the live stream. We're focused on strategy by wall. We're pr practicing decision-making through the Charleston right now. Here we have developed a multiple. This created, we, we had one three crack and then we got a three crack. So now we have a multiple. I would reassess. And we actually have a hand in here with no gaps and two multiples. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, crack, five, six, dot, pung, kong, pung, kong. So we have three, four, five, six. Let's see, three, four, two, three, four. There is another hand we could potentially play. This would be the second hand down on the right would be the pung, kong hand in mixed suits. And then we could maybe do the fourth hand down, which would be single pair pung. We would need a two crack. We have a pair of three cracks, Pung four crack, Kong five bam, Kong six dot. So that means that we need to let go of our sixes. Since we have the three crack and the six dot, I would look for a way to use both of those multiples. So let's pass four, seven, six. No keepers which is fine because we need to be able to pass. And that looks pretty risky, but a one three with an eight is not bad because you can't use an eight with a three or one. You can definitely use the one three together. And we do have a six here we don't need, but I think it's equally risky or maybe a little riskier to pass a six eight because that's just one tile from the middle of the range, five, six, four, five, six. That's a efficient tile. So I think it's better to throw the three bam. All right, here we go. We're in between the second hand down in mixed suits or the fourth hand down. We did pick up a five dot. So that's another multiple for the second hand down on the right. And at this point, I would let the five bam go and focus on three, four, five, six, Pung Kong. This white dragon will probably go. So we're going to continue with the Charleston. We have six discards, uh, but I would not pass the flower and I would not pass the white dragon. That leaves us with four passable tiles that are not too risky. Here we have two odds, different suits. Here's one of each suit. Basically, that's not too bad. You basically do the best you can with what you have left. No keepers. Okay, I think these are fine to pass. Three, four, five, six, second hand down on the right is what we're focused on. No keepers, we ended up getting the same pass. We sent that around before. We're looking for a four crack specifically. It'd be nice to get that four crack. No, but we did get a four dot. We even have some potential for the concealed hand if we can get a three dot or a seven dot. We have three tiles to pass, so let's just keep going. We don't have to pick a hand yet. We're still gathering. We're in between the second hand on the right and the concealed hand. 
we got a seven dot. I would keep it because we could maybe play that concealed hand. We need to pair up the flower and the dragon, though. Let's throw. Oh, OK. So now let's jump back to the presentation. Because I want to mention a few things. Um, hold on a second. I got it. I don't know why, but here we go. Let's see right here. All right. So here's the presentation again for the pick and discard phase of the game in the early game, which is that second wall play at the category level until you have no discards left. Just stay at the highest level you can. If you run out of discards, then you need to pick a hand to either free up more discards or hopefully start calling discards to make exposures. Commit to one category by the end of the second wall. It's good if you can identify at least one category. Try not to be spin, spanning between two. If you are waffling between or straddling two categories, that could take you into the middle game. You really want to start whittling down your options by the end of that second wall. So try to commit to one category by the end of the second wall and stay concealed as long as you can. That just gives you the greatest flexibility. All right, we're going to go back to the game. And we're going to start by discarding the nine crack. We're play, playing characters. either three, four, crack, five, six, second hand down on the right, hmm. or we're playing the concealed One hand. We do not need a four bam. Four bamboos. Oh. We Seven have some bamboos. quick callers here at the table, these robots. They're playing aggressively, but they're not smart. They are not smart. If they can call a tile, they will. Three but they're bamboos. they're basically painting themselves into a corner. Okay, there's a five dot pung. So since that is five a pung bamboos. and we need pairs for the concealed hand, Three I would bamboos. stop that, the development there. And I'd focus on three, four, five, six. A three crack was discarded and we could pung that. We have no gaps for that hand, three, four, five, six. So I would call it no gaps. And we have three multiples out of four. We just need to build our four crack. And this is a hand of least resistance. We can play this hand with any number of jokers. So even if the four cracks go down, we can use jokers in, in place of the natural tile. So I think we should go ahead and call and commit to that second hand down on the right. Another reason why is because the white dragon and the flower, those are pairs for that concealed hand. If we don't draw them, then we're going to find ourselves in a challenging position because we can't call for any tiles. At least here, we can call for everything if we need it. So let's go ahead and pung. Pung. So now we're beginning to commit to this hand. We're going to throw the riskiest tile first. And that would be flower, the flower. Flower. Five bamboos. Okay, so we're playing four, Eight five, uh, three, four, five, six, Pung Kong. We need one character. We need a four crack and a, five, a six dot, basically. There's a joker. One That's helpful. Dragon. We can use that with our hand of least resistance. Four bamboos. It's a very nice hand. If if you happen to get jokers, you Nine can dots. finish that hand pretty quickly with these jokers. Seven bamboos. So we're looking for a four crack, six dot, two away from a winning hand. Four dots. Okay, that is a pass for us. The dragons go first if I'm not Green playing them. Again. Wins dragons year tiles go first if I'm not One focused character. on those hand uh, tiles. Okay, so we want to keep an eye on the wall because we're in the third wall. We're going to pause for a second and we're going to talk about the third wall because that's where we are right now. If you look at this wall on the right, it's a partial wall. 
if you compare that to the next wall, I would say right about where this eight crack is, that would be the end game. So we're just about entering the, the middle game. So I'm going to go back to the presentation and we're going to talk about the, what to do in the middle game because the strategies change in the middle game just a little bit. So let's go to the presentation. We have strategy by wall. The second wall just was depleted there. We're now in, oops, that I got to move that. We're in the third wall. Okay, so here are the strategies for the middle game. Avoid claiming a discard until you're ready to commit. And we actually called it a discard. We were ready to commit because we had a hand with no gaps and three multiples. We just need a little help with one of our multiples. And we have jokers. Confirm exposed versus concealed before calling a discard. And we switched from that concealed hand up to the second hand on the right, which is an exposable hand. Watch what other players are discarding and exposing to try to figure out what they're playing. That's going to help you plan your discards. Discard joker bait and flowers if not needed by the end of the third wall. We haven't talked about joker bait yet. But we did talk about flowers and that white dragon that we had. Uh, those are both risky tiles to hold on to. So you want to try to discard those and hold tiles that are less risky for the end game. We're quite early in the middle game, so we have time. But you want to be mindful of risky discards, which are going to be year tiles, dragons, and flowers. Fresh tiles, too, are quite risky. Commit to a single hand before the end of the third wall. Right now, we still have some flexibility, but we have no gaps for the second hand on the right. So we're ready to commit right now. We just need a little help with our four crack. Redeem jokers from another player's hand to prevent someone else from benef benefiting, but leave at least one joker visible because you do not want to create a pure hand for somebody because if they end up winning, the value of their hand will double. So you don't want to create that situation. Discard fresh tiles by the end of the third wall because those are going to be more and more risky as the game progresses. All right, we're going to go back to the game. Okay, so here we are. We're playing three, four, five, six, second hand down on the right. We've got a pung of threes. We need a little help with our four. Actually, we're, no, we need one more good pick because we need to Kong the four. And we also need to Kong the six dot. We have a pung of five dots and that's good as it is. So right now the four dot is out. So let's discard that. Four I dot. like to keep the fresh tiles in hopes of doing a joker exchange. East wind. So we need to make sure that we don't have fresh tiles by the end of Nine the third dollars. wall, which is going to be right around where the eight crack is. Six dots. Okay, that we need to Kong, and I would Kong. because we have a hand with no gaps. So let's discard the seven dot. Seven dots. Seven characters. So we still need a good pick out of that wall. Hopefully we'll get a joker exchange. There's a six dot six available. Dots. Oh, someone just got that. Nine cracks are available. Four bamboos. Hopefully we'll get a nine crack or maybe Seven draw a uh, four crack. Oh, four dot is already out. Four dots. So we're going to play this up until the end of One the third character. wall, which is going to be right around where the four bam is. One dot. We don't know yet what Three everyone's bamboos. playing because they have only one exposure. Eight dots. With a nine crack pong, Kong. the options are limited. Green dragon. Nine crack pong. Let's seven see. Dots. They're probably playing five, seven, nine, six hand down, or they could be playing a consecutive run hand, uh, seven, eight, nine, nine. And that would be the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. 
so uh, let's see, one, two, six hand down on the right. That's got a pung of nines, double pungs of nines, exposable. Or the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run, one of two hands. North wind. And then over here to the right, they have three, East four wind. bands out. My guess is, let's see, they're not playing odds, or not odds, but evens, because there are no pungs of four, Nine so characters. they have to be playing a Flower. consecutive hand. They're playing a consecutive hand of some kind. And then Southwind. the player across from us, they threw away eights, so they're not playing like numbers. Red Dragon. And my guess is they're probably playing eight characters. They're throwing eights, fours are out. Three bamboos. My guess is they're playing something also consecutive across from us. Because there are fours three out dots. and eights out. But we'll see. Kong. Okay, eight three, they're playing a three, six, nine hand. Let's see, which one is that then? Three, three crack or three dot. Okay, what am I? What in the world? Hold on one second. Is there a, oh, there it is. Three, six, nine, single pair Pung with Kongs. Third hand from the bottom under three, six, nine. There's a Pung of nines in that hand. So they're playing three, six, nine and crack, single pair Pung with Kongs of threes. So they're going to need a Kong of three bams. And there's two out, three out. They're going to need three jokers. And that's going to be hard to come by. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about two dots. Mickey Bot. <laughs> the other two I'm not so sure about. Flower. So they have two jokers uh, up for grabs there. Five characters. Let's see. Three crack. There's only one more left. We don't want the five crack. Eight bamboos. We don't need a two dot. Two okay, dots. we have two more picks. Two more picks until the end game, Three and we're going to switch back over. Uh oh. Okay, now their hand Two is in. Moves. Their hand is now invalid because they are not going to be able to complete that hand. So we're going to declare their hand inva bamboos. invalid. So we're going to double click on it, and we're going to call it. That's the only hand they could be playing, and now we're going to get more turns, and we don't have to worry about them. Uh, they're going to, they have two jokers that are available for exchange. Uh, those were made prior to the hand being declared invalid. So we will be able to have access to those. Nine bamboos. Let's hope they didn't have any more good tiles in their Eight hand. Dots. And now we have only two players to be concerned wow. about. So we'll have more turns now. Two bamboos. There's a four crack. We're ready to win Five on a four players. crack. Now, if we draw a three dot or a nine Seven crack, bamboos. we'll be able to make an exchange and win that way, which One would be dot. very nice. Okay, we're gonna pause here though. Uh, well, I'll discard this. We have one more pick to the end game. The end game will be 40 tiles from the end. We each have one more pick here. Flower. So one more pick and we'll be in the end Five game. Dots. Okay, we're gonna pass. That's a pung for us. East wind. Okay. Oh, we just drew our mahjong. So we don't need to we'll circle back to the end game in a minute, but we got mahjong. Woohoo! And we won't look at the robots' hands because they are not smart at all they they commit without having the tiles in their hand so we're not gonna spend time looking at their hand oh i forgot to go full screen sorry about that okay we're gonna go back to the game uh, the presentation because i want to quickly talk about actually you know what we could do is let's go back out um and and do another game and then when we get to the end game we'll go back to the presentation that way it'll be relative so let's 
let's play another game and we'll repeat the gameplay with commentary up to the end game. Then we'll go back to the presentation and we'll talk through end game strategies. And I'll go full screen. So we have an interesting start here. We've got a joker, a flower, 158 in bams, singles. We have 59 in cracks, pair five. Three six and dots, singles. Then we have a pair of green dragons and an east and a west. So our multiples are with the five crack and the green dragon. There's really only one way we can use both of those. And that would be if we play one, three, five with dragons. And that is going to be one, two, three, four, fifth hand down under odds. Fifth hand down under odds. One thing we might do is hold fives for like numbers and then maybe let one of the dragons go. Another thing we could maybe do is play one, three, five dragon, which is the fourth hand down. And I would really focus there and let the rest of these tiles go. Let's see. Five, one, three, five with dragons would be ideal. We need a one dot and a three crack in here. So right now those are gaps, which is not, not good. We don't want that. We want to fill in the gaps. So we're gathering right now. We targeted the, the multiples and we're gathering. All right, so now we have a four, five, six. So there is some consecutive run building. We should keep that in mind. Four, five, five, six. It's not really gelling yet. But now we have four, five, six. Wow. Okay. I would completely reassess. We have four, five, six dragon. Three, four. The three bam never came in. I would probably focus on bams. We could maybe play that third hand down. So I would at this point probably let the one go and even break up this. No, yeah, I think I would break up the five because we have a strong enough representation for that third hand down now with a very risky pass from a robot. They passed four, five, six in one suit. That is not advisable. That's not good because it, it fit right into our hand, even though it wasn't our focus. So we reassessed and switched. We did end up with a three. We might be able to play the concealed hand now. And we definitely want to keep going. So we have three, four, five, six. Our weakness is the four bam and our flower. We need pairs there. So we're still trying to mitigate risk. Nine, two, four is not too bad. We have an eight. That, that won't be helpful unless we get a seven. And we have five, six, nine for passing. That's pretty risky. I don't think I would do that. I would let the, uh, the eight go to try to break up that one suit. So we're looking for a four BM or a flower. We did get the five back. And we have like numbers. We're going to the right. We can pass blind. I don't like passing like numbers. And I also don't like passing a pair. So we're going to pass one blind. We have all keepers in here otherwise. And we got like numbers with eights, which means now we have discards. We can pass three. So sometimes it's nice to get tiles you don't need. Let's see. I suppose we can keep the eight in case we get a seven. If we get a seven bam, we could do five, six, seven, eight. We could still maybe do five, six dragon, which is the third hand down. Oh, there's a nine. I suppose we can keep that. We could do five through nine if the flowers don't come in. 
Okay, so Same now characters. we're going to stay concealed as long as oh. possible. There go the robots Eight taking hours. what they can. Okay, now that is a tile we might be able to use later, but One we're bamboo. playing concealed, so we should keep an eye on that eight. We may need to go down to the three and play three, three four, five, characters. six. Let's just see what we get. Oh, there's an eight van. Okay, let's let the seven or the four crack go here. We need a seven bam Four in here characters. if we're going to use that eight. The other thing I was two thinking members. is maybe we can use this for a two and play two, four, six, eight Five dragon. Characters. Hmm. We could use that for the missing One two dot. and leverage that eight, eight bam. Two dots. We're kind of in between at the moment. The nine is Two our members. only discard. That two ban, we could use that if we play two, four, six, eight dragon. Eight it's basically the same hand under concealed consecutive run. Four dots. Let's we'll see if we can get a two bam. Five dots. One character. Okay. Two dots. Two bamboos. Oh, now there there are two two bams out. I don't think I would play two four six eight. Nine bam. I think I would let the eight bams go and go with where six we have characters. no gaps. We have no gaps with three four five six. Two bamboos. So we are still in the middle game, and the middle game is going to take us to right right five around dot. where the five dot is. We're looking for a One three bamboo. four bam. Four bam would be ideal because we need a pair there. So we have a weakness that is a pair oh, and we're playing concealed. So our weakness at the moment is four bam. Always Eight keep your bucks. eye on your weakness and monitor those discards because you, you may need to switch. Three you may need to switch your hand. Nine bamboos. All the two bams are down. Four bamboo. Which makes this eight bam useless at the moment. There's a four bam. That's what we need. Now, what we could maybe do is look for the Nine seven dots. bam. There's one out. If we can get a seven, oh, good. There's a three bam. I was thinking that if we could get a seven bam, we could switch to four, five, six, or five, six, seven, eight. But it's a foregone conclusion because we just picked up a three bam. Eight bamboos. So we're one away from ready. The four bam is still our, our weakness. There's one out. So this is a little bit risky. We're one away four from dots. one away from ready. One bamboo. We need a good pick in here. One crack now. One character. We we need to hopefully get this four Five bam bamboos. before it's discarded. The five crack is available for exchange. The two One cracks bamboo. are also available for exchange. Always look at exposures two to see characters. if you can get a joker like what they just did. Red dragon. Okay, we need a keeper. Con. Oh, we got skipped. Darn it. Five dots. Okay, we need a keeper in here. Four bamboo. Uh oh, that's our tile. Okay, so what we need to do Sounds is look good. for a plan B now. Our plan B is the third hand down. Five, Ooh, six, gosh. dragon. Five, six, dragon. If the four bam goes down, which I hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't because we're one away from ready. Nine bamboos. Okay, we need a keeper. Oh, shoot. Nine bamboos. But we have an out. We can play five, six, dragon. Six bamboos. Okay, now that is our tile, but we're playing concealed. There's one five bam out and one Nine six dots. bam out. So we would need jokers if we switch to five six dragon. Flower. It'll be a little bit painful if we have to switch. So let's hope we don't have to. White dragon. We're still in the middle Three game. Bamboos. We have an eight bam discard. So that is should be a safe discard nine dots. it doesn't seem like anybody wants it 
Six. Okay, yeah, we need a good keeper here. East. That's not good. East wind. Oh. Eight characters. Five characters. Oh, they got it. Shoot. White dragon. There's one joker up for grabs here. The two crack. One done. We need a keeper. Give us a keeper now. Oh, flower. All right. Well, we're we're heading into the end game in two more picks. So we probably should discard the flower because that's going to be risky later. Flower. We made our flowers North pretty. Wind. Now they match. They don't have to. It just makes it pretty. Six characters. Uh oh. Okay. That would be my guard dog, Riley. Sorry about that. We must have a delivery. <laughs> Hold on. Riley. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Okay. There's a couple of jokers available now. And that's why we couldn't get the sevens. Riley. Stop. Sorry about that. <laughs> Stinker. East wind. He doesn't like the delivery people. <laughs> or really anybody who comes into our yard. Oh, look, we got the two crack. Oh, my goodness. Two characters. Thank goodness. Okay, we'll discard that eight. And now we're ready to win on a, a four bam. Nine dots. And we know our opponents don't need it. Four characters. So we need the four bam to win the concealed hand. We're in the end game. On our on this next pick, let's go look at our presentation because let's see here. We want to just quickly look at the different strategies for the end game that you need to be mindful of. So I need to go back to my presentation and get it get it up. So let's see, where is the end game? Here we go, end game. Okay. Oh, uh, I think I presented the wrong window, sorry. Um, let's see, slideshow from current slide. Okay. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so here we go. This would be the end game, the fourth wall. That's the end game. That's where we are now. And these are the objectives for the end game. Just looking over here on the left, assess your potential. We're ready to win, so we're going to play to win. But if we're not ready to win, you would calculate your odds of completing your hand. We, we're pretty sure we're going to be able to complete our hand. There's only one more four bam left. But you want to look at the number of picks left in the wall. And then you want to compare that to the number of discards in your hand. And then consider the number of tiles that you need that are visible on the table. That should help you figure out your potential to win. Then what you want to do is discard your highest risk tiles first if you're playing to win. And the risk from high to low would be one tile visible, two tiles visible. If three tiles are visible, that's even better. And then of course, jokers nobody can take. So think about that as you're planning your discards. Riskiest tile first, if you're playing to win. You also wanna assess your opponent's potential to win if you can figure it out based on their exposures and the discards. Look at the number of picks from the wall, the number of tiles in your hand that you think they need that they won't get, and then the number of tiles that are visible that you think they need. And that should help you assess the potential for your opponent's hand. And then use all that information to help you decide if you're going to play to win, which is what we're going to do. We're playing to win. If you decide to fold, you need to prioritize your discards. So we're looking at the left side. 
of the list. Consider joker usage, discard flowers before the last 28 tiles, unless it's obvious that nobody's using them. Break up your hand to discard from low, uh, to discard low risk tiles. And then that's the same risk um, bullet list. No tiles out is very risky. One tile visible, very risky. If there are two or more, three is ideal. And then, of course, jokers nobody can take. You want to minimize your exposures if you're folding. You don't want to expose tiles because that gives away information about the game. And you don't want to reveal jokers that could potentially be ex ex uh, exchanged. That will help your opponent. So avoid calling to make an exposure if you're folding. Also, avoid calling for an exposure with jokers. I just mentioned that. Okay, we're going to jump back to the game and we'll finish it out with hopefully a win. All right, here we go. We're going to throw a three crack. There are two out, so that's a little bit risky, but we're playing to win. We're ready. I'll go full screen. Three characters. No, stop. Flower. Okay, that's very risky. We're not, we don't, we don't need that. We need a four bam. I guess I could tuck the jokers in. Five Put bamboo. this in order of the card, I guess. That's a pair for us. We're looking for a four bam. Oh, there's a six. We can throw the joker. That is the least risk nobody can take a joker joker let's see three bm two are out so one character. we won't get a pure hand here and we can't use a joker for a pair so we need that four bam so let's hope that the robots don't hold the four bam nor win we're hoping we'll draw it or someone will discard it there's a seven bam there are two out, so if we discard this, seven bamboo, then nobody can use the Joker. White Dragon. Now we could have done a Joker exchange and switched to five six. West Wind. But we would no longer be ready to win. We would have three discards. Nine characters. I think we should wait for that four bam. We are risking maybe one of our opponents holding that tile, but three characters. Since it was thrown. I'm hoping that it'll be thrown. Six characters. Eight characters. Two characters. Four bam is what we're looking for. Four dots. Four dots. Okay, four bam. Four Nine bam. Characters. Come on. Four bam. Two are out. Seven dots. The player to our right could have a four bam eight characters green we don't need green it green dragon we could have maybe switched to five six dragon eight but dots. that would have taken us out of a ready hand so it was it's a little four bit characters. risky because we don't know where that four bam is nine characters i'm hoping it's in the wall one character Seven dots. North wind. Oh, where is it? North wind. Okay, is this it? Keeper, keeper out of the wall. Seven bam. Seven bamboo. Shoot. Eight dots. Oh boy, four, four left. Green dragon. Now, if you're playing with live players, they may see that there are two four bams out and there's only three picks left they could deduce that somebody needs that for a pair four bamboos. there it is mahjong, mahjong. all right so we got it thank goodness and you can see that the robots don't have uh, good good hands really they have terrible hands okay so no i would play to win on this one play to win if you're ready to win in the end game i would play to win now if i'm ready to win 
and somebody is playing a quint and I draw the tile that I think they need, I will fall on my sword and break up my hand. I've done that. If they're playing a cheap hand, well, I shouldn't say cheap. Um, if they're playing a 25 point hand, not saying that's a cheap hand, it's just a low point hand. If they're playing a low point hand and I'm playing a higher point hand, I might risk discarding their tile. It really just depends on my ability to get the tile I think, or that I know I need, that I think our opponents would discard. Okay. Usually assume you're playing a simple hand, not a concealed one. Okay. All right. So that is strategy by wall. Any comments? Do you guys use strategy by wall? Do those strategies make sense to you? Do you question any of them? Let's discuss. Are there any strategies that should be considered for strategy by wall that are not in that presentation. I think I've got it pretty well covered. But if you think there's something that should go in there, let me know. Definitely use strategy by wall. Excellent, Karen. That's good. All right. We're going to play with real people now. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll play with people, humans, because they're going to be smart. They're going to have hands that make sense. And, and that will affect your own hand. If the robots are holding crap, you could see they had concealed pungs that didn't really go together. So it kind of affects the game a little bit. Now we're playing with humans. I'm going to talk through strategy by wall. So let's see what we're going to focus on here. We have a flower, five, eight in bams, seven, eight, nine in cracks with a pair of eights, two, six in dots, almost news with a pair of souths. What I would focus on here would be the wins because there's a multiple. And I would also focus on these eights. We might be able to do north and south with a run. So I would hold the seven, nine. I would also look for a consecutive mix suit, consecutive pung potential. So for the concealed hand, I would consider that with the eight crack. So let's pass the eight dot, the two dot, and the five bam. So we're looking at maybe north and south with a run. That would be the second hand down or the concealed hand. And we just picked up uh, seven bam, which can be used for the concealed hand. There's a west, which we really don't need. So we need to decide whether we're going to play north and south with a run or news concealed. Either way, we're not going to pass a flower. We could let the west go and still be okay. So we're playing either north and south with a run or news concealed with seven bam, eight crack pungs. We're just going to gather at the moment. We're focused on gathering. We have an east that filled a gap because we need news concealed. So at this point, I would commit to news concealed because we have no gaps. Uh, we, all, we do have seven, eight, nine with north and south, and there's no gaps there, but it's pretty weak. I would let the nine crack go because we have our singles for the concealed hand. If we happen to get a seven crack, we could always play north and south with seven, eight, nine and use jokers for the nine. Here's an east. You know what I would do here is I would see if we can get more wins because the west we gave up, we might see it again. We may switch to the first hand if wins come in or we could even play maybe the fifth hand down 
with four flowers and news. Let's just see if what comes in. Right now we have four discards. We did get the West back and we have to make a choice. We have two tiles to pass. We could play that wind hand with four flowers and we have our single pair. We could pung the West, but we need help with the South. Or we can maybe let the West go and play concealed. I think we should go ahead and play the fifth hand down. Go for exposable in this case because of these multiples. We might even be able to play the first hand. So at this point, we can call for discards, west, south. So let's see if we can get another wind or else draw from the wall, I suppose. We're playing winds. At the moment, we can just call for one block, the west. But we have the single north pair east. And we can use any number of jokers with the rest of those blocks. It'd be great to get a south. No, oh, we got the eight crack back. So now we can pass two and we're right back where we were, which is kind of nice. And I probably would pass two here. Let's see how many our opponent wants. If we say they want two, we can do two. I try to be reactive in the optional cross because I don't want to reveal my standing. Oh, we got an eight crack. There's a pung now. So it's one tile better towards the concealed eight hand. Characters. We really don't have to decide until a west is thrown. Six dots. So we might be able to still play that news concealed hand. One bamboo. If we draw a north, I probably would Bond play the concealed bamboo. hand. If we draw a west, I would probably Five play dots. the exposable hand. If we draw a flower, I would play the flower East hand. Wind. Okay, that's a pair for us, so we're okay there. Eight dots. Two bamboos. So we're looking for a seven bam north Eight north bamboos. and south. Seven bam north and south. That's what we want. Five so bamboos. we're in the begin game still. Four dots. By about three picks. We have about three picks. Three bamboos. We're in the wind and dragon category. So we're not we're not straddling categories, which is good. Eight bamboos. We have two hands with no gaps. North wind. There's a north. Nobody wanted it, which is good. Six bamboos. We we really don't need that. Even if we play that White fifth hand dragon. down, we need a single, and we already have it. Green dragon. It, it appears that nobody else is playing wins. One bamboo. Six characters. Oh, we don't need dragons. If I'm Red not playing dragon. dragons, they go first. Dragons and year tiles. Red dragon. And that again, just is if I'm not playing those tiles. If we're in those tiles, we'll keep them, of course. Kind of goes without saying, but better say it anyway. South wind. Okay, that's our tile. We need to pung that or Kong it if we play that fifth hand Six down. Bamboos. So I would prob probably probably focus Six on the concealed bamboos. hand now because one of our tiles Nine went bamboos. down. One of our tiles went down. 
the South. Um, two characters. Four bamboos. Oh, we don't need the nine current. Nine characters. Nine bamboos. Okay, how are we doing here? We have Green two dragon. we have two options, seven bam or nine dot. Six dots. We could still maybe switch to news Five characters with Kongs of East West. We'll see. There's one north, south, east out. Three one one of each of those is out. One character. Okay. Kong. South wind. Okay, that's another south. We we can't we're not ready to call that. I would definitely focus on the concealed hand at this point. Because we would need two jokers for the Seven news bamboos. hand with flowers. I would focus on news Eight concealed. Dots. We're gonna need at least one joker. Five characters. Eight dots. One dot. Okay. Don't need two crack. Two characters. Two bamboos. All right. We need north seven bam or nine dot. We we need a we need pungs in here. We don't know what our opponents are doing. It's a little challenging to figure out what they're playing Three with no bamboos. exposures. The player across from us. Seven dots. Let's see here. One crack, calm. Four dots. Red dragons are out. One bam, one dot are out. They could be doing Nine bamboos. consecutive Kongs. They could be doing mixed suit Kongs over Three there. bamboos. Okay, we need keepers in here. White dragon. We need to let this flower go. Okay, there's keeper. Flower. We're gonna need that for the south. Green dragon. There are two south south. Somebody else could be playing winds because there aren't very many out. Eight bamboos. Maybe the player across from us. Four characters. Okay, we're gonna five dot one is out. These winds, let's let the east go. East wind. This five dot one bamboo. is an efficient tile, middle of the sequence, so we don't want to hold on to that. We need Two we need to swap it out with a safer discard because we're going into the end game. One dot. And I would play to win. We're two away from, well, really three away because West we have wind. an option with our number tile. North win. Oh, boy. Now we're going to need a joker. So we need, at the moment, we need a joker for the north and a joker for the south. Red dragon. So we need one more joker minimum. We still need to get seven bam or nine dot in here. Four characters. There's a nine dot. Okay, so that's a keeper. Five the characters. seven bam can now go. And I would hold the seven bam for a safe discard later. The five dot was thrown early in the game. Kong. And there now is someone with a Kong. So I would nine throw this dots. five dot next. That's a con We're playing concealed. So we'll let that go now. Five dots. Now, the two crack, I think, was just thrown a bit ago. Four bamboos. There it is right there. Seven bam. One is out. 
Or so bamboo. maybe we can swap that out, hopefully, with a better discard for Nine later. Win. Oh, now we're going to need another joker. Oh, yeah, we don't want to hold on to that. Flower. That is going to be very risky. Oh, flower in the end game. Seven That's characters. kind of scary. All right, so at this point, we need jokers. Seven bamboos. We'll pass. Hopefully, we can get another joker for Six the characters. north and south. Okay, one dot, two are out. There's only one seven bam. Nope, two of each. So let's throw the one dot. One dot. That could be this player to our right could be playing like numbers with Clone. one. Oh, our player across from us. That's weird. Three characters. Because there's there's a one dot in front of them. Clone. Okay, one three. One, two, three. Uh-oh. Eight done. That two crack is going to be very risky. Four bamboo. This two crack is going to be a risky discard. So we need to assess Seven our bamboos. potential to get jokers because we need jokers for north and south. Okay, so that was just thrown, right? Wasn't that just thrown? This two crack was just thrown too, though. All right, let's throw the six. Six characters. We need two jokers for the for the winds, north and south. There are two of Six each dots. out. Nine bamboos. Okay, east can go. East wind. This two crack. Darn it. Here it is Six right here. Bamboos. I'm pretty sure that's what they're playing. One, two, three, Eight cons. Bamboos. Shoot. Four characters. I just don't know if we are going to be able to get jokers right now. Seven bam is the safest. Seven bamboos. There's one seven dot Four out. Four characters. This player to our left might be needing that seven dot. Four dots. Maybe they're playing mix soup kongs in Green odds. Dragon. west wind okay we have two more picks white dragon two more picks and we need jokers so the likelihood of us picking two white jokers dragon. which is what we need is minimal limit very it's not gonna happen red dragon so we need to switch to defense at this point so let's break up our wins west wind and we're gonna play defense five bamboo because we would need jokers for north and south west wind and i think the player to our right needs the two the player to our left i think needs the seven five bamboos yeah we're not throwing a flower east wind so we're defense North and Six south are characters. safe, so we'll th we'll throw north and south next. Seven dots. Oh, that's risky. They didn't want it, so we can throw that. Joker. Seven. We dots. did end up getting the nine, but we still have two. This two crack, I think, is what this player Joker. to our right needs. There's only one more pick. Five dots. I'll pass. Joker. Mm -hmm. All right. So this player, we're going to pause here and look around. All right, over here, they did have a two. They had a joker that they threw. So it doesn't look like, like they were quite ready, um, but I think it was smart to switch to defense because if they even had one more joker or drew another joker from the wall, they would have been ready to win. So they clearly needed that two crack. Here, they needed to pung, two, three. I think they were out though. Uh, and then over here, oh no, the two dot is right here. 
Uh, but this player was playing 579, 579 in one suit, which means they needed red dragons. So they were playing a gap hand. They have no red dragon. And then here we switch to defense. So I hope that helped with when to switch to defense. Eight, end game consideration, basically, is what drove that decision. We just, we needed jokers. And the chances of us getting those jokers was slim to none. So you need to be able to assess your potential to win. If you don't have potential to win, switch to defense. Fold your hand. That would be a fold in American Mahjong. You don't quit playing. You just discard defensively. Okay, we have a uh, Joker, Flower, Pair of Two Bams, 2, 4, 6, 8 in Cracks, Singles, 2, 6, 7, 9 in Dots, Pair 7. And then we have a Green Dragon, Single. So the first thing I thought about was let's play 2, 4, 6, 8. Look at all those tiles. We could also maybe play like numbers with twos or maybe even the addition hand. Since we have a pair of sevens, we could potentially play six, seven, eight, nine, but we have way more tiles with evens. This is going to be kind of a risky pass right here, six, seven, nine. But we could maybe play that second hand down. Let's keep the six and let the dragon go. I'm thinking we should try for that second hand down under under two, four, six, eight. No keepers. We need we need two crack eight crack to seal that deal, I think, because those would be pairs. But we have that hand in here with no gaps. We could also maybe switch to like numbers with twos or or the addition hand two 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 four. Uh, let's see, two bam two dot four crack. We got a four dot. Two, three, there's a little bit of consecutive run there. Two, three, let's let the five, seven go. We could maybe do two, bam, two, crack, four, dot, addition, two, two, four. So we're in between evens or two, three, four. Okay, now we have one, two, three, or two, three, four. We could do two, three, four, four, second hand from the bottom. I think that one can go. This can go. We could do two, three, bam, four, crack, four, dot, two, three, four, four. We need flowers, actually, to make that work. So now we're in the second Charleston. Oh, we picked up a two dot. Okay. So I would let this four dot go at this point. Or maybe, let's see here, two, three. We can use jokers for that. We're closer to the second hand down, but we need two crack, eight crack paired up. That would be paired up. That's a verb. Oh, we got the four. Well, I really wasn't planning on that, but we could maybe do two, two, four addition. Let's let the, oh no, I don't want to pass like numbers. We're passing right so we can pass blind. We can get a two crack or an eight crack. I would play that second hand down. We have three tiles to pass. 
we're in between the second hand down under evens or the second hand down under addition. Two, two, four, no gaps, or two, four, six, eight, no gaps, but we've got weakness with the two, eight. Thank you for coming to the live stream. I see we have more people joining us. We're playing at Mahjong time and we're focused on strategy by wall. Let's hope for two eight in cracks. Two eight in cracks for an even hand, second one down. No keepers. That's all right, we've got discards. All right, we're gonna start by discarding this one bam. One bamboo. Six dots. Okay, we're looking for a two crack, eight crack. Nine characters. We can call a, one of the twos for a Kong. Seven If characters. we pick up a flower. Oh, there's a pair. We don't need this pair. Eight dots. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. Nine characters. Very good reminder. Uh, okay, so we have a pair we don't One need at dot. the moment. We might be able to get a joker exchange out of that. Kong. If someone has a exposure with fives Seven bamboos. and a joker. Okay, so if a two dot or a two bam go down, we can Kong. If a four crack goes down, two we're going to have to... Okay, we're good there. We need that for a pair for second hand down. Seven dots. So we need to keep an eye on that. One crack we don't need. One character. Four dots. Three bamboos. Four characters. Okay, this is where we have to choose. Since there's a two crack out, let's go ahead and Kong. Kong. And then we're going to optimize for Joker exchange now. So two crack was thrown. We're playing the addition hand, second one down. Two and that, characters. I decided on that because the two crack already went down. One more two Green crack dragon. down would put us at risk. This way Four we can dots. use jokers with our twos. We just need Nine a characters. flower. There's a flower. So we're good now. What? Flower. Wait a minute. No, I did not click on that flower. Shoot. That was Three the game. Dots. I was, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to try not to go on tilt. That was a problem. I did not want to throw that flower. Two characters. Shoot, there goes the other two crack. Darn it, I wanted Three that flower. Dots. I clicked over here. Usually if you click in the space to the right of your tiles, it'll discard Six the tile dots. on the right of your of your hand. One but it character. threw my flower. Stinking game. Red Shoot, red. now we need another flower out of the wall. Darn it. Nine characters. Oh, that's aggravating. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's Three move on. Dots. We're going to just move on from that. Try not to go on tilt. Seven Okay, I, I tilted to the right. I'm going to course correct, tilt Four back to bamboos. center, and move on. Okay, let's see what's out. None of these are out. Two four dots are out. We are trying to Four optimize dots. our potential for Joker exchange by holding fresh tiles. And that Seven needs bamboos. to change before we, you know, about around in the middle of the middle game, we need to start holding fresh tiles. One character. So right around where Five the split dots. is, we're going to try to hold fresh. Uh, we're going to swap out Five you, uh, safe tiles for the fresh tiles. Right now, the five bam, eight crack, six crack have not One been thrown. Bamboo. I'm hoping we'll be able to get Joker exchanges out of those tiles. Flower. Flower. Mm. Oh, and here's a Joker up for grabs. Five bamboo. Uh oh, five bam. That's what that's our Joker beat. Nobody took it. Nine bam. Okay, we're gonna throw the five bam. Five bamboo. Nobody wanted it. Somebody has it though. 
Kong. There we go. Okay. So we'll grab that on the other side, hopefully. They have two. We have one and one is out. So we'll be able to get that joker there. That was an example of joker bait. And this is about when you want to do hmm. that. So it worked in our favor this that time. Does. It's a hit or miss strategy. And this time it hit. Seven dots. So we'll get that joker. Five bamboos. And then we'll discard the nine bamboos. Nine bamboos. Okay, so now we'll be able to Kong one of the twos. Kong. Eight bam is a friend, is a good dots. tile. This is when you want to start thinking about swapping your, your risky tiles. They may be playing eight, nine, eight, nine. This player to our left could be playing wins. No wins are out. North wind. We don't want to hold wins. Okay, so the next North wind. Uh, oops, the next tile to throw will be the eight crack. Because our opponent across Going from character. us could be playing eight nine eight nine. There's a nine in front nine of them, dust. so I don't think so. There are three nine cracks three out, bamboos. so I don't think that's what they're doing. Oh, we recovered a flower. Eight characters. We did get a flower, thankfully. Eight dots. Eight <laughs> characters. That's a good point, Evelyn. That's a, a good point at Mahjong time. Really, any online platform. Sound win. Okay, so let's see. We're going to throw the six crack. Six characters. We want to now start swapping out for safe discards. There are three eight bams Red out in an exposure over there. The six bam, we eight need a better. Characters. We need a better discard here. Sound win. Okay, West. It looks like nobody wants wins. Somebody Thanks, could bamboos. be playing east and west, so we don't want to hold on to this west. We need to swap it out. Nine bamboos. We have one more pick before we're in the end game. They're playing one, three, five, Mixuit Kongs. Three characters. They just threw away their tile, though. Why Six did... characters. Okay, that was weird. Why did they throw that? Don't they need that? One, three, five, Light Mixuit red. Kongs? I'm kind of confused. We'll discard the West. West win. I think the player to our left is doing East Kong. and West. East, West Kongs with the five dots. with either dragons or the either dragons or the year. So we're not holding that. White dragon. I think they might, let's see. Seven. Over characters. here, what are they doing? One five. Oh, they were, they threw away a three crack because they didn't want to throw away a joker. They were bluffing. All right. So here we have six, seven, eight, nine, Pong Kong, Pong Kong. Over here, this player threw, did you guys see them throw that three crack? And I questioned it. I thought, okay, why are they doing that? That's a bluff. They did not want to throw their joker because that would tell everybody that they're waiting on a flower. By them throwing the three crack, it maybe looked like they were breaking up their hand. But it's too early in the end game to do that. So I caught that bluff. Over here, they're playing east and west with the year. So they needed a three dot, and then they needed to Kong the east. And then, of course, over here, we're, we were blocking each other with twos, or they were sort of blocking us. We were trying for the two four. 224 edition. Okay, let's play again. Hopefully we'll get to play at least two more hands. We had some good opportunities there to talk about strategy by wall. Okay, let's see here. We, we need another player.
We're waiting for someone to come join us. Okay, here we go. New game. We have multiples that don't go together. Three, five, six, eight in BAMs, pair three. Eight crack pair, three, seven, eight in dots with north and south. So we have three BAM, eight crack. Those do not go together. We have way more five, six, seven, eight tiles than we do three with threes. The threes are really not very helpful here. Eight crack pair, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Like numbers with eights, but I don't pass like numbers. I think we should break up this three and we need to let something go. Seven, eight, six, eight, eight. Okay, let's let's pass the three BAM with an eight, five BAM. Okay, that's a little bit risky, but I wanted to break up that three BAM because if we get everything we want, we would get stuck with a pair. Okay, so now we have seven, eight, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, Pung Kong. We do have three tiles to pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand. We have a hand in here with no gaps, though, if we have to. Six, seven, bam, eight, nine, crack. Six, seven, eight, nine, Pung Kong. That would be the second hand down on the right. We're playing six, seven, eight, nine at the moment. It looks like somebody left the table, this player to our left. Okay, nine man, here's a six dot. We have two versions of six, seven. So we have eight, nine, eight, nine, six, seven, two ways. Six, seven dot or six, seven bam with eight, nine. We also have eight, nine, eight, nine in bams and cracks. Both Pung Kong, Pung Kong shapes. Let's just see which builds. No keepers. We did get a five for five through nine, but our multiples with the eight crack. We should keep going. We did get that three five back, but we're gonna we're gonna pass that forward because we need to focus on building our own hand first. So we're gonna pay this forward right now. Oh my goodness, we got a flower. Yikes. That that's kind of a shock when that happens. Okay. We need to make a choice in here now. We could do eight, nine. Well, since we have a flower, maybe we can play six, seven, eight mixu Kongs. Let's let this nine bam go. Six, seven, eight, mix suit Kongs, or maybe, let's see, not quite like numbers with eights. Okay, so now we have another multiple with the seven dot. 
So I'm thinking 6 p.m., 7 dot, 8 crack. That would use two multiples. 7, 8. Okay, let's do west 1, 9. Let's see here. 6, 7, 8. Maybe we can break up the 7, 8 in bands. 6, 7, dot, 8, 9. We could still maybe do six seven eight nine here. Six seven dot eight nine crack. We did get like numbers with eights. So we got one of them. So six seven eight nine or six bam seven dot eight crack. Mixu Kongs. We have three discards. That was a pretty good Charleston. Three discards with options. If we play six seven dot eight nine crack, we can we would let the flower go. So let's see what we're gonna do here for optional cross. We, I wanna wait and see how many our opponent wants. I do not wanna pass one tile. That, that is risky. So I like to wait. We're gonna wait. Oh, gosh, no. We waited out the clock. No tiles. Because I do not want to pass one tile. I'd rather pass none than one. All right. We're good to go. Three discards with options. That's a pretty good result. I would say we're a front runner for this Eight one. Bamboos. Now there's a flower. So at this point, I would play six, seven, eight Mixu Kongs. Nine bamboos. So that means we have four discards. I would say we're a contender because we need to build up our six, seven, and really the six Three bam does. is what we need to build at the moment. So we'll let the seven bam eight dot go first. Nine bamboos. Uh, let's see. I guess the eight dot. Eight At the moment, we can Kong one, one block. No, we can Kong two. We can Kong the seven dot or the eight. One character. Nine characters. No, we're good there. We're not ready for that. Eight bamboos. So at this point, I suppose we can escalate that. Here's an option. Nine characters. We could do seven, eight, nine. Instead of six, seven, eight, we could do seven, eight, nine. Two characters. We'll pass. So we have options in there. We're going to leverage the pair of flowers. Three characters. West wind. Oh, we don't want wins. East wind. We want to optimize our potential for joker exchange, which South means wind. number tiles. Number tiles are going to be in exposures with jokers more so than wins. That's one reason why I let the wins go. Five why won't you pass one tile, asked Joe. Because there are two, really two reasons. Okay, now here's an interesting idea. Uh, let me go back to the hand real quick, then I'll answer your question. We might be able to play Two the uh, consecutive quint. Eight bamboos. We could quint the eight crack and just build Five up the characters. seven. We have three flowers. One character. Four bamboos. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, why I won't pass one tile. Eight when a player says they want one tile, they either are between hands and can't decide. Two bamboos. Usually that would be a beginner one making character. that kind of choice. But the other reason one is bamboo. because they're close to a winning hand. And I don't want to pass them one tile that can potentially de further develop their hand. And and give them a, an advantage over me who's maybe not at that Six point characters. yet 
So by declining a one tile pass, seven bamboos. they're Four bamboos. basically just going to have to start where they are, which is probably North better than wind. me if they're asking for one tile. So that's why it's just risky. Six bamboos. And this player across from us, okay, we're going to pass. We're not ready for that six. So I'd Five probably bamboos. let that go. Consecutive quint is those Six numbers bamboos. only on the card. Second one down, yes. The quint I'm talking about is the third quint with flowers. Five characters. And that's any two consecutive numbers in mixed suits. Seven characters. Uh, you're dragon. welcome, Joe. I'm kind of thinking we should try for that quint because there are two nine bams out. Seven dots. I think we should. We're not ready for that seven. Darn it. All right. Four characters. That's okay. Let's see. Maybe we should keep that nine. Four characters. Six bam, two are out. Six crack, one is out. Seven dot, one is out. Six dots. So here's six, seven, eight, mix, uh, one suit, nine one suit Kongs. Might be better than the nine bam. North wind. There's one each of the six, seven out. Four dots. Two, three cracks are out. We're going into three the end characters. game in two picks. East wind. East wind. This nine bam is going to be a, a safe discard later. One dot. It'd be nice if we can draw a good tile. All right. How many red dragons are out? Six I don't see any dragons at all. Out. Oh, one. Nine dots. There's a there's a green dragon right there. I was just thinking maybe we can switch to the concealed hand, but six bamboo. The six crack and seven crack. One of each is out. One character. And those would be pairs for us, which would be risky. Four so dots. I would I would say probably not the concealed hand. It would be too risky. We could maybe try for six, seven, eight, but West we need we need to build up the six, seven. I think we're better off trying for the quint. Red dragon. Okay, so three, five cracks hmm. are out. There's the red dragon. Seven five and six. Dots. These are going to be risky to hold on to. So I think we five should discard dots. these next. Seven characters. We'll pass. Nobody wanted that seven. Seven characters. One bamboo. Okay. Six dots. Mm, that'll be a good safe discard later. We're in the end game. Last win. Okay, five dot, two are out. Five dots. One dot. Two characters. West wind. Okay, we need a uh, three dot, one is out. Three dots. Oh. Four dots. Okay, no flowers are out yet. Nine characters. Four bamboos. 
Okay, Joker. That's nice. We need that. Six characters. We need that badly because we need we need Two another bamboos. we need another one because there's a seven dot out. Five dots. Seven characters. Flower. Nice. Nine bamboos. Okay, we got our Two flowers. Dots. We need another Joker in here. Or yeah, or a seven dot, I suppose. Three dots. Or the eight crack would be nice. Because I don't know who would throw a fresh tile right now. Three bamboos. A joker would be ideal. Because we're stealth mode right now. Three crack. Three are out. So let's throw the middle Five tiles characters. first. This three crack should be safe. Three bamboos. Three crack, three are out. Six characters. All right, we need a good pick out of the wall here. East wind. Joker keeper. That is not it. Seven bamboos. I was a little nervous to One throw that because only two are out. Seven bamboos. Okay, we have two discards and three picks. Two characters. Eight dot. Eight dots. I want to play to win. Oh my goodness, that was terrifying. Two dots. Okay, we have we have two more picks. One dot. Oh my goodness, I'm wondering if people are switching to defense here. North win. Okay, we need a keeper. Darn it. Okay. We'll let that go first. Two bamboos. That is a year tile. Four dots. Seven bamboos. Mm, shoot. Red dragon. Well, we got the seven dot. Six dots. But what we really needed in here Four was a characters. joker for that eight crack. Four bamboos. We got one away from the quint. Six characters. Oh, look. Three characters. You know, I suppose we could maybe get it if someone throws an eight crack. Joker. Darn it. We got ready to win. But we have some smart players at the table who switched to defense. All right. Let's go see where our, there's our eight crack right there. So they were trying for eight, nine dragon. Over here, we have one, three, five dragon. They needed to Kong that one bam here. Their ones were going down. Over here, year hand with dragons. They needed flowers. The flowers were here and here. Everybody had flowers. And then of course here, we're ready to win on an eight crack. So, Good defensive play there. All right, let's play one more game. Thank you, Karen. All right, let's jump over here. Hopefully we'll get to play one more game in this live stream. Thanks for hanging out with me in this nitty gritty live stream. If you missed the beginning of this session, there's a really good presentation on strategy by wall, which is what we're doing gameplay with commentary on. Strategy by Wall, it's a fantastic collection of strategies based on the wall in play. Okay, let's see if we can coax somebody over here. Come on over. Okay, what's going on here? There we go. We did a little bit of musical chairs there. Okay, we have a joker, six, seven in bams, three, five in cracks, one, three, five, six, eight in dots, green dragon, east and south. This, this would be a hand where somebody might say, I have nothing. 
but that's not true. We have a predominant pattern, five, six, seven, eight. There's also little odds in here, but consecutive run is, is much more flexible. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight. We can throw the dragon and, and one of the wins. So probably one, three, three, five. We actually have a little odd hand in here. One, three, five. So let's let this eight dot go and see if maybe, oh, maybe I should have kept that green dragon. We could have maybe tried for the fifth hand down, but maybe we'll get it back. There's some little odd potential there. One, three, five. It's just not as flexible. So five, six, seven might pan out. Let's find out. We have a six crack. There's a one. Pair of Souths. Okay. There's a pair of Souths. Here's a six crack. Joker. Okay. I think the little odds can go. So it's going to be something has to go, though. Five, six, five, six. Let's let the seven go. Let's see if winds come. A wind and a seven. Really, what we need is the north, not the not the west for five, six, seven. But we could also maybe do five, six, five, six. Let's just keep the wind. Let's see what happens here. We could maybe play news concealed with consecutive pungs. Okay, we've got a nine, seven, and a white dragon. That's really not helpful though. Five, six, seven. I would let this west go, I think. Oh, shoot, no. Five, six, seven, five, six, seven, five, six, and seven, seven. Let's see, one, nine. I think we should keep going. I think we should let this white dragon go. That's pretty risky, but we need to optimize our own potential first because we could still maybe do news concealed. And we have consecutive mixed suits here for the consecutive pungs. Six bam dragon. Hmm. Five, six, dragon. Five, six, six, seven. We're going to let the West go, I guess. It's a single tile for that concealed hand. Hopefully we can pick it up if we end up playing that hand. Otherwise, we're going to play five, six, seven of some kind. We're going to be an underdog on this game, probably, unless we get keepers. We finally have a multiple with our number tile. That's good. Six bam, and then we have an eight dot, four crap or four bam, no two. So I wouldn't focus on. I wouldn't focus on evens. We have no two, and I would break up the south at this point. That's that's. Completely isolated multiple there with no other wins. So we're playing five, six, seven of some kind. Okay, now here we have another multiple and we have a four, six. So we have four, five, six, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Let's see, six, bam, six, dot they want three we have six seven and bams six dot pair i think i would 
probably discard three. We have four, five, six, seven. There's no gaps there. It would be awesome if we can get a seven dot because <laughs> then we could play six, seven, six, seven and leverage all of our multiples. Six, seven, six, seven. But we could also do five, four, five in dots with six, seven in bams. Four, five, six, seven. So really the six crack can go. Okay, so now we've got the eight dot, which is not helpful. So we have four discards in two potential hands. White dragon. I'm thinking either Sounds the second weird. hand down in two suits or the third hand from the bottom. Pung Kong. The hmm. pung, two Pung Kong hands. Four dots. And we have four discards. So I'd say we're a front runner. A four dot just went down. That would be our tile, but we, I wouldn't claim it yet. If another four dot goes down, we might need to think about it. Otherwise, One I think dot. we can try for six, seven, six, seven, because we could pung the sixes. There's a six. Okay, let's let the eight dot go. Eight dots. So I'm thinking we're playing a gap hand. And I would, I would define this as a seven. Well, Eight not yet. Characters. We don't have to really define it yet. I'm hoping we'll draw a Eight seven dots. dot. It would be awesome to draw a seven dot. Okay, now here's something else we could play, and that's like numbers with sixes. One character. We could maybe switch to like numbers with sixes if we can't get a seven Eight dot. Bamboos. We have three tiles before we have to make a choice. Seven bamboos. That we would need to Kong. Let's just Kong. Kong. We're playing a gap hand. So Nine we're characters. gonna let the flower go next. So we need a seven dot. At least we can use any number of jokers here. West wind. You know what the other characters. thing I was thinking? We're still playing a gap hand, but if Nine we play, dragon. if we draw a five crack, let's see. Hold on a second. Let's let this six crack go. Six characters. Because now we have four, five, six, seven again. Four, five in dots, six, six seven in bands. We would, a four dot is out, but it's not a gap hand. Four, five, yes, Hong yes. Kong in dots, six, seven, Pung, uh, Pung Kong, no gaps. Six characters. Eight bamboos. And if we draw a seven East bam, wind. I mean a seven dot, I think three bamboos. we can go ahead and let the flower go at, at this point, I think. Well, no, wait, yes, because we have we committed with the seven bam. We can let the flower go. Four, five, six, seven, Pung Kong probably is the best bet, unless we draw a seven dot. If we draw a seven dot, we can switch to Pung Kong with six, seven, six, seven. Either way, we can't really commit further because we need to Pung the four dot, Kong the five dot, and we, need, we can Pung that six bam. I think we lost a player here. Well, what happened? Three bamboos. Oh, we definitely don't need a dragon, but let's throw this flower. Flower. East wind. Two bamboos. Nine characters. We definitely don't need that. Nine dots. We need four, five, six. Maybe the seven. If we can get that seven dot. Nine bamboos. We need a seven dot. White dragon. We need a keeper from the wall. 
Joker Keeper. No flowers. We need Joker Keepers. Red Dragon. Oh. Red Dragon. Flower. Green Dragon. Oh. Take it with a Joker. Darn. One bamboo. Okay, we need a keeper. Mm. Well, green dragon. That is in our range, but it's the wrong suit. We needed a four dot for four, green five, bamboo. six, seven. If a six bam goes down, I would probably call it for a pung. Flower. We'll just see, but it would be really nice to get a four dot in here or a seven dot, one way or another. White dragon. We got the seven. Four okay, characters. so now I would probably focus on six, seven, six, seven. Four dots. Especially because now a four dot is out. Five bamboos. So the four dot will go. We're actually still in the middle game. This five dot Two dots. is a fresh discard. I'll, let's let that dragon go first. Red dragon. And then we should throw this five dot next. East wind. So we're playing six seven six seven. We could pung the six bam. We need to build Eight up our bamboos. seven dot. One bamboo. Eight crack. One is out. Let's give it one more pick. Eight characters. It's best to discard Joker beat around the middle of the middle game, which Four we're past. Characters. But I think this next discard, we're going to discard the five dots, see if we can get a coax One out bamboo. an exposure. Five dots. Nope, nobody wanted it. It's hit or miss. Eight characters. And that one was a miss. Eight crack would have been dots. nice. Eight cracks for, for Three characters. For what, what, which hand with eight cracks? Five dots. Six, seven, eight, Mixu Kongs. When I had the flower, is that what you were thinking, seven Bruce? characters. Three dots. This Three south characters. is safe, the four dot. I don't think anybody wants. Red dragon is out. Two Red bam, dragon. only one is out. So this is going to be risky. We need to swap this out with a safer Six discard. Bamboos. Okay, that's a pung for us. Pung. Two bamboos. Fourth hand down. Flower. Oh, I see what you're saying, Nine Ruth. Bamboos. Yeah, that, that would be a big gap, though. That would Flower. be a, I see why you're you're mentioning that. That would be a Kong gap, which Four is dots. significant. So I didn't even consider that hand because that's a, a Kong gap. We didn't have any gaps with Three six, dots. seven, six, seven. We need one good pick out of the wall. Seven BAM is available Eight for characters. exchange, I think. We West have a, a good discard here. Nobody's going to want that south unless somebody's playing news. Two bamboos. A news hand, but I don't think so because all the white Six dragons characters. are out. We need a seven dot out of the wall or a joker. Seven bam would be nice. We can do an exchange. One dot. Okay, we have a pick. Three bam. Three are out. Three bamboos. Oh, <laughs> I got you, Rep Ruth. West wind. Yep. I well, the other option we Nine were dots. we were thinking of was um, four, five, and dots with six, seven, and bams, and there was no gap there. Six bamboos. Uh, okay, nine bam can go. Nine bamboos. But I hear yeah, I I I know what you're saying with that eight crack. Um, Two characters. There are four eight cracks out. Four and characters. The eight cracks went down about, I don't know, four, four discards ago. Okay, there goes our tile. Eight bam is out. Eight bamboos. We need a joker now. 
nine bamboo. Or really, that's the only seven dot out. So one, one joker will do. If we can get the seven dot, the other one, we can get ready. But east wind. Okay, we need a good pick here. Eight dot, three are out. Eight dots. Two characters. Okay, seven bam is still up for grabs. Seven bam. Oh, shoot. Oh, they didn't get the joker. Darn it. Two dots. Maybe they don't need it. Four dot. That's already out. Four dots. Okay, we have two more picks. Three more picks. And just one discard. Six dots. Okay, we're going to pass. Two bamboos. We get three more picks. Nine dots. We need a keeper here. Oh, it's out. One bamboo. Two more picks. Five bamboos. Kong. Oh, here's a joker up for grabs. No, it's out. Okay, we need a pick from the wall there. Joker! Nice. Okay, now we just let go our last discard there. Oh, shoot. Well, we got ready to win on that one. We came a long way. North and south with a run. One, two, three. This player over here, they had our, they had our seven dots. That's sad. Sadness. Okay, here they needed the green dragon. But we got ready, so I'm happy about that. All right, that's going to do it for this nitty-gritty Let's Play live stream. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today with this nitty-gritty Let's Play live stream focused on strategy by wall. If you missed the first part of this episode, make sure you watch it at least at the beginning because I shared a presentation on strategies based on the wall in play wonderful group of strategies that you can use to compartmentalize as you develop your hand. So if you have any questions or any strategies that you use, please send me an email. I'd love to consider them. And let's see, the next live stream that we'll do will be on Friday afternoon from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you're free, join us. We open it up a little for a little more casual social interaction in the Simply Social Let's Play live stream. So I hope that you'll consider joining us then. Thank you, moderators, for helping monitor chat. I want to say thank you again to all of our channel members for helping support our channel. If you want to participate in live stream chat, that's one way you can do it. And all the monies that are donated through the channel membership go to support my YouTube channel. So I, I really appreciate that support very much. Have a really great night, everybody. We'll see you again on Friday, unless we do a pop-up during this week. We'll see. Could happen. Have a good night.